Hey, hey, Kunal, how are you? I am doing great, sir. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you very much for joining this special oh, one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And congratulations so, for being the winner of the June month hackathon. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you so awesome, much. Awesome. So, so the whole uh, discussion of us is 30 minutes and, and you have to tell me how did you do that? Okay, That's the most interesting thing because many of them in our community are so eager to know what did you do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> before we get there, I think it's, it'll be good that since we are recording and I'm going to share with everyone also in our community. So just a quick background about uh, who you are, how did you ended up in becoming a coach, just a little background about you for now. Okay, so I'll start about myself. Uh, uh, actually, uh, I am uh, right now we are into business of money lending and uh, jewelry. Before this, I was into an industrial startup, wherein I worked there for six years and due to some uh, government schemes and all, we had to sell it off. And prior to that, I was a student of ICAI and ICSI. I was at least halfway clear and then I just stopped it. It was not that I couldn't clear it, I just stopped it. Shift of uh, things in life. So uh, right now, uh, I'm not doing anything basically as in my own. I'm with my father in his business. So okay. coming down to coaching industry, I was very passionate about speaking, talking and uh, emceeing and everything since my wow. college day. So wow. uh, what happened is I used to be the local quiz master and hosting the seminars and all. And later uh, I joined one social organization. You might have heard of it, Junior Chamber International. Yes, yes. yes so yes. there is there is where I understood that yes, I can be polished in this way. And slowly I started doing everything, and I reached the top level of all the trainings over there. Wow! And then uh, I, I am actually one of the youngest of people who have completed the last level in. Wow! Excellent, year. excellent, Kunal. So more and more people actually uh, acknowledge the talent they say I have got while I talk and I convince people. So they asked me to get into coaching, and I tried my hand in it. And I'm very, uh, I'm loving it basically. <laughs> wow. so, that is... <laughs> so how many months or years you are into uh, the coaching and training business now? So yeah, training I'm doing since 2015, uh, but nothing, Finally. nothing big, you know, like schools, colleges, social organizations, communities that way. And okay. there is one person, uh, Vikas Guglia, who is also in our system. So mm -hmm. he recommended me that you got to get trained by Murli sir. He will polish whatever you are. So <laughs> just go. So blindly, <laughs> it was a leap there. Okay. So how's your journey in TLC so far? Um, amazing. See, I'll tell you this interview thing, you know, this is like, uh, I can say I have already reaped 10 times value already. You know, I just. Wow. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. <laughs> because see, um, you all have answers, you know, everybody has answers. I cannot Correct. deny that fact, but somebody has to take you to answers. So this yeah. is what TLC did to me. It actually made me understand what I actually love doing, you know, and uh, actually maybe I'm good at it. And my interviews are, they're amazing. People are loving it. So <laughs> <laughs> being already a quiz master, so obviously, you know how to quiz people, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, and yeah, uh, yeah, I, I can just say that it's an can opener, you know, there was a lot of fizz inside the bottle and okay. somebody had to open the can and it really happened. Excellent. Now I've, I have become purely focused. I know what I want and I want to go with it and I'll do it no matter what. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Wow. I like that certainty in your tone. Fantastic. Kunal. I love that. So currently, how are you positioning yourself? So what's your positioning right <laughs> okay. now? <laughs> so this is, or should I help you today in this call? <laughs> oh, I, I really need a big, big support in you. I want you to hold my hands in that. Sure. Because, okay. uh, yeah, I'm not clear with it at all. Uh, okay. okay. I, I Let's find out. Let's I find know out. something of everything and I know nothing of everything. Something like that. Oh, that's okay. Sometimes it's very good to be a jack of all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I, I know that I've learned one thing. I can learn and deliver. I don't know whether I implement. I can learn and deliver that I've learned. <laughs> hmm, very interesting. Very interesting life you have. Where do you live, Kunal? Which part? I am of from Mysore, uh, Karnataka. Mysore, okay. And I heard you were here in February or January for some BNI summit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, you are a star for coming. us actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I keep coming there very and frequently, but now no more travels. You know, if my circle of people will see the screenshot, you know, that I am with you one on one, maybe I become a small celebrity here. <laughs> Just take a screenshot right now. <laughs> Taking it. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So that you can share with everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. So uh, where are you stuck right now so that I can help you in this call so that uh, you can now go and serve more people? 
So what's your overall goal, Kunal? Let, let's talk from there. Okay, what's your overall ambition or vision or goal in life? Anything like that you have? See, yes. Um, I told about the six-year industrial startup journey and business journey and all. And I mm. see so many businessmen of my age, you know. Uh, mm. Most of them, 90%, 94%, 95%, I would say, are still regretting. I don't know why. Like, I didn't do this, I didn't do that, I didn't do this. Now, what I mm. want ha to happen is just first accept what you are. Now, let's see what we can build with you right now. Okay. So I have three uh, three missions in my life. Totally, why I want to do this coaching. So first thing is it's very big. Let us. Uh, it is very divine for me. The second thing is there is a lot of money in the universe scattered by me because of my industrial startup. I want to gather that money back from the universe in the second hand. Okay. And third thing is yes, uh, people should not commit the mistakes which I have committed, and nobody should mm. go through what I've been through. That's it. Okay. Okay, very interesting. So your expertise lies in industrial startup, right? Means uh, you started an industry and uh, you ran it for six years and you yeah. sold it. Is that is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah, but uh, I wouldn't say my expertise in industrial setup. I did all the other work, the paperwork, the mm. managing people work, and uh, you know, basically uh, project reports and everything, audit, mm. legal mm. compliances and everything, uh, purchasing and all. But my partner was there who used to actually. Uh, uh, sit in the office and run. So I was more of that back, back, back end support basically. Yeah, back, back support. End. You are doing the back end, all the other administrative works a lot and uh, yeah. managing the whole thing. Very good. So what do you love to do in your life? <laughs> so I I love traveling. Basically, I used to travel a lot. Uh, okay. Yeah, I do like learning like this. And mm. I do uh, like reading interesting books. I don't say I'm a vivid book reader as you are. Some interesting books. I do like that. And okay. I love meeting people, making people happy, and yeah, I love that. Very interesting. Do do the world also needs that? Yeah. The passion meets the world requirement. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good question, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you had to do something, okay, which will really great, have a huge impact in the world, so what will be that? Do you think that uh, uh, helping startups to set up their companies in the right way so that they don't make any mistakes will make sense to you? Will you get satisfaction in that? Or you would like to work with children? Or where is your heart? Okay, where does your heart works? That means even if no one is paying you even one rupee, okay? Yeah. But still, you are ready to do that contribution to the world. Each, in which area will you do that? See, uh, I have seen people, you know, who are always in the search of some passive income in life. Okay, They have half knowledge and usually they they are into my category, like 24 to 30 years old, old people. So mm. what they want to do is they want passive income and they start investing money here and they're without any proper knowledge and they end up losing money. So okay. what, I, what I, I believe in is why could I not help them so that they don't actually invest money, but they can earn more out of their own business. Like how can that happen is by mind mindsets and the new habits, like simple, like it's like some new systems we give them and they're happy with it. And I'll be happy if I do that much. Have you done that in your life? Uh, implementing it. Yes. Have you implemented in your life and seen success? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Can you give some examples so that I can understand it better? Okay. Um, now, how do I start with examples? We have a small store, jewelry store, wherein we do money lending and pawn broking. Okay. Okay. Uh, my father uh, started it in 1974 and we have been doing this uh, since then. I was that kid who had to study and all, and, but I ended up here. That's a long story short. Mm -hmm. uh, so once, once I ended up here, I saw there were many things which were still happening in the old fashioned way. But I started making smaller, smaller changes like the accounting systems. I brought it to a system wherein even if my father is not there, I can understand what is happening. Even if okay. I am not there, my father can understand what is happening. Then mm. we went on to the trading stock, the stock management. Earlier, there was no proper stock management. And you see, if you see in the traditional business and all, everything is blind. Mm. They just have it in their mind and nothing is correct, on paper. Correct. So I made everything to come on papers now. Mm. And then we started to uh, little tweak everything. So I started uh, making our shop look better. Like I put mm. up my LED board, I put wow. up some lightings. And uh, I, added, I, I asked my father to add some better stock. You know, we serve people now. I know people are happy with our service. Wow, interesting. So you, what you mean to say is that uh, you know the art and science of microfinancing. 
<laughs> is that the right? I, because it's, it's there in your genes right now. Microfinancing, <laughs> right? <laughs> no one can beat you on that topic, right? <laughs> because it's there in the genetic code itself. Yeah. So we do. So that, uh, means, finance, uh, that means you understand the whole uh, finance, that money lending process. Yes, is that yes, right? Yes, yes. And you know exactly how to make money in that also. Am I right in saying? Yeah. The money lender, you know yeah. how to make money also. Yes. And even if in the middle of the sleep someone can wake you up, you can teach them. Definitely, definitely. Wow, very interesting. Uh, then but why are I, you not? Uh, so I like what clarify makes you not? Uh, yeah, I, go ahead. Money lending is against gold, uh, not against yeah, vehicles, yeah. against gold. And that's okay, that's okay. That's one method, right? For example, that is yeah. one method of uh, making money by giving, yes. pledging gold and making money. So it means you can actually teach others yeah. on how they can actually make money. Yeah, definitely. I would love to <laughs> uh, save money, lend money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what you've been doing in your life, right? All yes. these years. Yes, yes, yes. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, uh, only is this gold only you know, or any other topic also you are familiar with? Because your uncle, aunt, or your your no, your, your, we your, are completely into this. <laughs> Everyone are into gold jewelry, pawn yeah, broking yeah. only. Yeah, my uncle as well. He has a separate store. I have a separate store. Uh, we have a separate store. So uh, yes, I have that industrial magnesium oxide uh, thing which I did, but um, I do not want to work again on it because it was a mm -hmm. very hurtful thing which I had to leave it and come back. So literally, what you are saying from whatever you said, you can become a pawn broking coach. <laughs> <laughs> Helping all the pawnbrokers to become more systemized and they can grow their business. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, that would be one breed who actually do not want change. Whatever I have seen, you know, that would be one breed of people who do not want to update. They are right. happy with whatever they are. How do you get that knowledge from the pawnbroking industry you got? Okay. Uh -huh. And how can you get that to another industry? Is there anything parallel which, which can be applied? The same systems and principles. Mm -hmm. Because this industry, what you're talking about, is there for many generations. Yes. On broking industry, it's it's a huge uh, for generations that is running. So obviously, yes. the systems, the process in which you have been doing it, you, it's there in your head right now. Yes. Is there any other industry which is somewhat similar, parallel, uh, can be worked upon? I don't know. I'm just asking all the tough questions. Yeah, no, I, I do understand. Uh, I don't think of any because people say that this is the safest business with anybody can do. And whenever mm -hmm. somebody else is doing any other business, they keep this as the measuring index, the pan broking industry. So if mm -hmm. you could have earned this much in pan broking industry, why did you come up to this industry? Yeah, that's okay. So okay. So that is how we, we have that mindset. So whenever I try to do anything, the ROI, when I calculate, I calculate, yeah. is it matching my, this, this store percentage and, yeah, ROI. Yeah, percentage. and if it does not match, like if it is not exceeding that, then I will be not getting into that because this is already there. So it is yeah. something to measure. It's an index for people to measure their income. Can you create so, more pawn brokers? Is there a methodology to create? Uh, no, sir. This would be one thing wherein I cannot uh, teach. I, I can teach everything, but I cannot teach them to uh, learn how to uh, check the gold, you know, <laughs> fake jewelry, normal jewelry or something that cannot happen. Okay. Uh, even I, I make mistakes sometimes, you know, sometimes okay. even we, we make wrong judgment calls. Even my okay. father makes sometimes. So that okay. one thing uh, left apart, rest all, yes, but that is the core of the business. Hmm. Understood. Got it. Okay. Good. Very, very interesting. So you have an amazing business know-how on money yes. using the pawn broking industry and you have an amazing knowledge on startup failure. Yeah. Okay. So it's a two interesting combination. You see in one, you made money, one year lost money. <laughs> <laughs> the money scattered in the universe. <laughs> wow. Money scattered in the universe. Okay. Very interesting. So, Hmm. That's a quite way of looking at it. Money scattered in the universe. And would you like to help people to make more money? Is that what you really yes. want to help people? 
Yes, no, actually this is on record or else I would have told my divine mission as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> is that a so private one? No? You can't put it's, that on record. It's, it's not private, you know, it's not, it's not mine. It's, it's a divine thing. It's not private at all. Okay. But uh, it's something, uh, it's, it's very, one thing I want to do it. Uh, it's mm. like, okay, let, let me take it. I, I, it's okay if anybody can take this message. Uh, I have been through ups and downs in my life. Okay. Okay. So I told you my second mission is to uh, get back my scattered money from the universe. And once mm. I'm able to do that, I think I'll make all my systems, all my courses free of cost and make many people earn money. money, money. Okay. So that would be my divine intention if I'm entering. The, like, going ahead. Very good. So let that happen. No, why don't you make it as absolutely free course? Everything is free. Now, first Even I right from day one. That has to come back. <laughs> no, interestingly, the more you give, the more you always get. And uh, say, for example, you want to make your whole community as free. Yeah. And still, you can always put a donation box over there and people who really got benefited, they can always donate you back to serve. Pay it forward mechanism. It's pay it forward. I can connect with it. I really would not mind. But... Uh, it's, it's a, actually a very nice concept. Yeah, so it's, it's the same money course. Whatever you're talking about, money scattered and the whole universe has a lot of abundance. Okay, Everyone has abundance. Money is abundant. It's only scattered. You are not able to look in the direction and you're not spotting yes. it. That's it. Yes. If you know how to spot it, the money will come to you. Literally. Yes. 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 Is that what you mean when you say scattered and I want to collect it? Is that what you yes. mean? Yes. That... yes. So can you teach that to others? Uh, the abundance? Yeah, abundance, mindset, how the scattered money can come to you. I, I, I would love to. I would love to. But then why don't you start in that direction? Because you are coming from a money family. A family who has always been counting money for generations. So the credibility is very high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can think about it. I would really want to think about it. Uh, but yes, I do definitely want to make back my money which I lost earlier. So I do put that to my father. Right. So, so what's your urgent goal? You want to make the money and then do this or do this and attract money? No, that is a very tough question. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's very, very simple. I'm going to, uh, you know, there's a course called Seven Ways to Understand Your Purpose in Life. A vision, okay, a vision, whatever you're saying is a vision, but it has to become a decision. A vision okay. has to become a decision, uh, then only it becomes like a singularity focus. It's like a focused singularity. Like uh, if you understand physics, there's something called black hole is there. Okay, So what is black hole? Everything comes to one point and that's super intensity. Everything becomes one. Okay, So a vision has to become a decision. So that's most important here. So you have the vision, but are you ready to make a decision over there? It's a tough call. It's a tough call. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. See, that's that's the challenge. Okay, that's the journey on uh, the whole path here. You're trading right now because you're yeah. talking about money, and the money is like currency which keeps on flowing. And your vessel is a little bigger. You attract everything. The more you open it up, all the scattered will pass through you. Okay. <laughs> it can only pass through you, right? <laughs> No, again, there is a, yeah, I, we can go, go about it being free, but again, there is a form, like one thing we know, right? If we give it for free, people don't value it. So, do you but think no, that? Uh, there are multiple ways to look at it. If the whole organization is based on that, then no problem. Okay. Okay. So, you can always create an organization which is completely value, value giving organization and there is nothing attached to it. Or you make it as a very small subscription based uh, organization. That's it. They just pay a very small subscription base to understand that. Because hardly people have money education right now. Yep. yep, yep. The education, the knowledge on basic money among uh, everyone is very, very low. Will that topic be of great use to you? Because you know money more than anyone else. <laughs> okay. No, I'm actually confused right now. I do not know what to say. <laughs> See, whenever you get confused, you should get excited. 
My teacher, Tony Robbins, says that. It means on, inside the confusion, only clarity will come. Okay. Isn't that very interesting? Only from confusion, clarity will arise. So that is what I mean. you have to get confused. So you need to get yeah. confused first to get into the clarity yeah. mode. Yes. Because in you, when you are confused, your mind is th thinking. Otherwise, mind will not think. So the more and more you start thinking, it opens up. It removes all the cobwebs inside your mind and you slowly, slowly you become uh, clear. But again, ultimately, you need to keep one thing in your mind. Okay, Your end vision, your larger okay. purpose. Okay. What's your larger purpose? You have to ask yourself this question. Whatever I want to do now, is it connected to the larger purpose? Okay. I never felt so nervous in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Kunal, we have to remember that we may make mistakes in this whole journey. That's yes, okay. Yes, yes. It's not going to be a straight line. Don't worry. Yeah. It's going to be an up and down loop only will be there. But just go ahead. Uh, you've already done a mistake, so you, it's nothing new. Yeah. You've already busted your money, so it's nothing new for you. you already lost one, so you know the whole... I always say that failure is a better teacher than success. Yes. yes yeah. But you need to do it to see it, otherwise you will never know that. Exactly. So which direction you want to do now? It's a tough call. Uh... <laughs> See, I, I do want to work on the productivity field of people wherein we make them productive enough. So okay. with habit installations and all. Habits, so, okay. Habits and, uh, you know, some small morning routines, which we have been learning and we actually, people don't implement it. They just listen to it and they just forget it. Excellent. So why can't they listen to it and they implement it when, when somebody is there to stand next to them and say, yes, you have to do it, you have to do it. Mm -hmm. So th that is how I want to make people productive. Excellent. So for whom you want to teach that? Habits installation? Uh, me. Um, whoever is like me, 24 to 30 years or 32 years of age. Uh, and who is feeling that he's stuck somewhere. Excellent. Maybe Let me ask you a googly question here. Okay? Yeah. How can you connect these habits? Okay. Because this 24 to 30 are a very prime age. Okay. They're not going to listen to your habits because their whole habits has been completely changed by the society. Okay. How can you connect these habits to their money on their life? Uh, as we already know, if see some, if I have to apply for some course or if I have to uh, go ahead, I was actually attracted to it just because I also knew that I would be making money. I would understand the system or something. If at all that that one promise or one assurance if somebody is getting not assurance i would say that one bait we can say that yes if you do this you might earn money you might is also a big word when money is involved even mm. given scenarios where people are actually struggling mm. so if if that can help people to take smaller one decision that let me try and if at all they try and they succeed no one will be more happier than i am mm. interesting so you want to teach productivity habits to people? Yes, yes, yes. For youngsters, this is it. predominantly this is, youngsters. This, this is it. Productivity habits. This is it. So why can't you become a productivity habits coach? That means you actually teach productivity habits, which can make them become more productive. Yes. And they become more successful. They can make more money and live a successful life. Yes. Do you think that will be a right word? Yeah, freeze. We can freeze it. This is this so you is feel what that, I want. Yeah, you can you feel? But see, whenever you hear that, <laughs> you should feel it. Only yeah, when you feel it, you get it. Yeah, I, I have goosebumps. Yes, I want to do this. Oh, very good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and all you need is find out the target audience. You already said twenty-four to thirty, but again, uh, what kind of people they are? Okay, where do they live? What do they okay. eat? These twenty-four to thirty—is it male, female, married, single? Whom you yeah. want to focus? Whom do you think is the right target audience for you? I, I have one small doubt. If I say I want to work with male male category, will I become a sexist person? No, no, nothing like that. <laughs> no, I would want to work with males. Okay. Uh, and um, typically, I do not actually want to hit the corporate uh, structure. 
because okay, they have want to work in the corporate world okay no, no, no. there are few people who are like i would not say startup because startup is a innovative business i would mm. say who have just begun with new business in the market some people mm. who are trying to sit with their fathers now they are traditional business or some people have started new ventures see if i mm. started a industrial work it was not actually you know where you start up it was just my my starting point so i want to go to those people so do you think that productivity habits for family business will be a right one yeah yeah family so you are coming from a family business yes yes and yes, then you yes. speak to them you talk with authority yeah yeah 100% <laughs> so obviously they will understand wow oh you are coming from a family business we understand you yes 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 does it make sense family business can be uh, right uh, yeah audience. and and i'll tell you one big secret as being from this background i always took my life lightly because i knew my future was secure now when mm. i am in the future i know what mistakes i have committed many people do this they know that family business means my business is secure my future is secure they do not learn they do not grow they do not do anything just because they know they can go and sit over there excellent excellent wow So predominantly, you're talking about the second generation guys in yeah, family yeah. business. Yeah. Now I today I know today when I see your courses, I sometimes feel what have I done with my life? Why didn't I study? Why didn't I do good things? Just because I had my father's business, I, I, it doesn't mean that I should not grow in life as a person. Wow. Wow, that's very interesting. So I think you can narrow down no? the productivity habits for second generation family business owners. Yes, it's, yes, it's yes. much more clear, no? It's super, super narrow down, and uh, right, I, I, huge number of family <laughs> business super. owners are there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I want to work with them, and I want to just help them. It's, it's super clear right now. I know what I want. I know it. Wow, excellent. <laughs> See, in twenty-five minutes, we got it. <laughs> 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 no stop that is why people come to you i believe sir so. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all about what you are really 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 good at it even if no one is ready to pay you money you will end up in still doing that yeah 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 we will because you don't want another boy to suffer like you yes exactly 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 no it's very hard breaking you know when you're a family when you start your family when you have a kid you know everything is new and suddenly if you're not functioning properly in business everything uh, feels like it's gone what is the use when you're not actually happy happiness very true very true very true good very good so you got your uh, niche now you got your target audience now so you know exactly what to do now so all you exactly. need is now what branding marketing yeah. I, I i want to ask one final question for my branding i i resonate with something called as x times you know i don't yes. know i just read x like, why i tell you see i i x x can you repeat it x x okay x okay x so ted x uh, icon ah. x uh, space x you know hmm. i i i want my branding to be something like 1.2 x or 1.5 x or 10 x 5 x Is is it something nice to do? Yeah, you can, you can, yeah, can can. Habits 10x coach, you can keep it like that. Uh, uh, okay, uh, is it nice to start as 10x or I, I I thought I'll do it as 1.2x so that in 90 days we can take you to 1 to 1.2. Is it good or it is like 1 to 10 in 90 days? Oh, everyone wants to see. Whenever you go and ask someone, would you like to grow your business 10 times or two times? You tell me which one they'll choose. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. so that 10x is something which is uh, quite resonating with everyone in the world they all understand 10 times okay or five times so we are two so let two us times is, yeah because 10x is always a very comfortable number to pronounce also see it's, it's all about the yes. pronunciation of the word 10x it's easy comes like tedx so 10x <laughs> is easy it, it's very easy to pronounce So habits mm-hmm. 10x can be the easier way to present, and then you're talking about how can you move 10 times better in your life, 10 times everything 10 times. So obviously they are not going to reach 10 times, okay? But always the aspiration will be there. But two times once they reach that, uh, they will just drop. Okay. So that's okay. the reason 10x. The concept of 10x is not reaching 10x. The concept of 10x is you start looking at that big hairy audacious goal, that peak. Okay, that okay. you always want to be there. Okay, so okay. for that, what are the incremental steps? You will continuously do it. 
because ten, two, two x is easy. Many of them will actually crack the code and do that, but ten x is not actually easy. Okay, I'll, I'll be a ten x productivity coach. And you're awesome. That's nice. That's uh, nice name. Can it be a ten x ten x productivity architect or a coach? What do you feel will be nice? Architect means again uh, they will think you are an architect. Don't don't don't. They will think that you are an architect. You work only with architects. So, 10x productivity business coach or coach for business family business owners. That's it. Okay. Okay. You can have a tagline. Done. Inspiring family okay. business. That's it. Yes. 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 So thereby people will know that you will work only with family businesses. But still others will also come to you. That's a different story. But you position yourself as a family business coach. Basically, you come under the species of family business coach. Family business coach, basically. In that a narrow down exactly. segment, among the family business coach, I'm not going to work on everything, only on the habits productivity. Yeah, productivity, basically. Okay, that's very interesting. So, what else you have a question now? I, I, how can I thank you? <laughs> <laughs> so, how was this quick one-to-one -one session? How, how did you... What what did opened up? What did you like? There's a quick feedback. First thing is, first thing is you actually made my purpose and vision clearer. I as you told, vision should become a decision. Now it will become a decision shortly. Like now, this first vision I have cracked. I want to crack the second vision, which I told the bigger vision. It will happen definitely. You are there with me to hold my hands, and everything came across here. You know, I could feel it. I could feel it with me with my. Wow. Skin. Yes, this is what, and it's like some inner. In, you made uh, my inner soul is talking to me that yes, this is what I want. It's like Kunal is here and two Kunals are talking. So you, <laughs> very nice. So you gave me a wonderful this thing, and you asked the right questions. You know, you, you asked the right questions. You you knew if you ask this, I'll be able to answer it and find my niche. And, it's it's beyond perfection. It's beyond nirvana. The feeling is beyond that now. <laughs> very interesting. Very interesting perspective you have about life. You, you definitely are a happiness coach. You know, I know you made me happy today. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I am, right? So, job of happiness coach is to bring happiness to the whole world, right? It's it's a beyond beyond. I I think it's beyond words. And people who will see this video, they would actually see my emotions. I feel if I'm expressive enough. The way it went through, it was really great. It was really great. So, if anybody, so, I'm super happy that I was able to bring some clarity in your life today. Thank you. Clarity will be a smaller statement. It's something beyond clarity. <laughs> okay, uh, I want now to share about. Go ahead, tell me. I want, to, I want to share about those interview experience. You asked, how did I crack it? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Tell so me I, I actually wanted to share this. And the first thing was the day when this interview hackathon was announced, I had already visualized myself of having one to one with him. That was, was sure. Wow, power <laughs> of visualization. I, I wanted this at any cost, I'm telling you. So the second yeah. thing is when I was choosing my uh, interview interviewees, so I was seeing whether they also want visibility. I want visibility mm. for sure, whether they are also looking for visibility and mm. what is it that people will like about them. So I started giving good captions. Uh, if you would have seen my first caption, mm. zero to 200 crores in 40 minutes. So, mm -hmm. so Attractive I knew, headlines. Exactly. I knew no matter what, even if I don't share it, people like his people will share it, his company people will share it. The people who want to expand their business will share it. Now coming down to the biggest secret, my interview, I always realized it, it was not about me, it was about the person and I, I got to know that everybody has a message, sir. everybody has a story, just mm. we know how to speak but many people don't know how to speak. So if Correct. my interview, every, everybody can give a message that would be awesome. So what I used to do is I used to uh, give them questions one day prior only so that they're confident and if at all they would feel there is something offensive, I would remove it because mm. I want some message and purpose to come out and it worked wonderfully well okay you know, and what i wanted actually came out and people loved it i got lot of uh, what they say good messages appreciation Excellent. and connections and all and i think this when i will look back five years from now this interview will be one of the things which will be a milestone in my life i can write it away right now excellent excellent very good so keep continuing keep continuing yes. huh? Don't... 
I started with season two. I had put the. Uh, ah, one. I saw that season two. Yeah. Go ahead and do that yeah. season two because it's it's you see, it also builds your visibility and credibility also. So go ahead and uh, since you're already a good guy in quizzing guy, so obviously you will know how to prompt the answers from others. So that's an in nature inherent skill you would have already possessed by being a quiz master, right? So yes. go ahead and continue to do that, okay? Yes. So, so that you can actually bring out the message. Yes. from many people and it may actually heal many people transform many people yes. yeah this is this you you actually speak what was there it, it is it what i wanted excellent excellent now see how you can connect all your interviews to the uh, to the title of yours now yeah. how it can be connected everything to productivity to habits and messages accordingly yes. so that it will also uh, parallelly work for your branding also yes surely sir surely sir surely sir very good. So all the very best for your season two then. Thank you so much. Uh, one day uh, I would want to interview you too, but let us see that day shall come. <laughs> Anytime you can always interview me. <laughs> no, that, that interview will be that one of the best things when I'll say, how could Kunal come here? And that will be the I will come back and I'll show this is how I came here. <laughs> so that is my visualization right now in front of you. I'm going back. <laughs> Excellent. Let that happen. Tatastu. It will always yes. happen. Thank you so Just go ahead and uh, share the message in the WhatsApp group and in OFB yeah. community and, uh, yeah. and then start spreading your branding. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. I'll always be grateful to you. Uh, please be in touch, sir. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, Kunal. Bye-bye.